Hi, yes, I'm, I'm Peter Johnson. I'm the Professor of Medical Oncology here in the University of Southampton. Well, I trained in medicine originally, and I only got into research when I took time out to do a doctorate when I was about 30, so uh, well after I'd qualified and after I started specialising in cancer medicine. The reason I came to Southampton in the late 1990s, which seems like a very long time ago, uh, was because they had a great reputation for research into how the immune system works, and particularly into how the immune system can recognise cancer. So all the time I've been here, we've been building on that idea. So the research I do is trying to find ways to get the body's immune system, the thing which normally fights infections and viruses and things in your body, to recognise and fight cancer. So that if the body has developed a cancer and you've got cells that are growing out of control, that we can get the immune system to recognize it and fight it just like it would fight off the flu. We've known for a long time that the body's immune system is capable of amazing things, but the problem with cancer is that it's your own cells which are turning against you. So it's quite difficult to get your own immune system to recognize your own body's cells, and that's why we have to do the research to see if we can find out how to reprogram it, but in a safe way so that it just targets the cancer cells and not the rest of the body. But I think over the years we have brought a lot of new drugs into the treatment of cancer, particularly we very early on found out that you could give things called antibodies, little protein fragments that the body can make naturally but which we made artificially. And we found that we could give those to people and they would target cancers. And this has made a huge difference to the way we look after people with many types of cancer now. We're in a really exciting time for biology in general, for cancer research in particular. Every week we learn amazing things about how the immune system works, how cancers develop, the changes. We can see right down to the level of molecules within cells to tell what's going wrong in them. And so we have this huge explosion of knowledge about um, how this all works. And what it's doing is it's giving us more and more new ways to treat it. So the next few years is going to be full of new types of treatment for cancer and more subtle ways and more personal ways. So where we will find ways to actually target the particular cancer that one particular person has. So science and research is, is really a team game and we have a big team of people working in the laboratories and working in the clinic here in Southampton but also I work with people all over the world. Uh, I talk to people in the United States, in Europe, in the Far East, all over the world to bring together the best minds and to work out how we can do things fast. The thing which is incredibly rewarding about cancer research is that all the time we're making progress, all the, way, all the time we've got new things coming into the clinic. An enormous amount of the treatments I use now weren't even invented when I qualified in medicine, so it's a really dynamic and fast-moving field. And of course the best thing in the world is seeing somebody with a nasty illness getting better because of some new treatment that you've helped to develop. That's an incredible feeling. So you have to be curious, you have to be a bit inventive and creative, uh, and also you have to be able to learn the basics and learn the, learn the technology, learn the techniques. So there's a certain amount of knowledge you need, but mostly it's about your mindset and how curious and, and how exciting you find the world around you. Uh, I used to walk up and down past an office building they were building on between my lab in Bart's Hospital and the underground station. Uh, and in the time it took me to do this piece of research, they built a whole office building uh, because I was so bad at doing experiments. But you just have to persist.